this adulting thing is hard y'all <laughs> Woo, so I remembered I had money on my credit card. I had money in the bank too, but that's where bills coming up. Got groceries. I just paid my roommate the rest of the rent because I literally just moved in. And we back at almost zero minus the bills we have coming up. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a lot, but I got some really good groceries and some other stuff. I only made one food delivery today and I'm just like, I'm not back at zero, but I'm so close and I have money coming in from different sources from camming from this from that but that's gonna take time to hit so um today was a lot I was actually doing food delivery I only got one order I ended up leaving the area and I'm glad I did I think my spirit woke me up or something basically between orders I will park near a restaurant and wait for a good order to pop up I might recline my seat back I might open the window if it's not too hot and then I'll just lay there so one thing I've realized that was good I think I'm going out too early when I'm at the house I'm like oh I should go do food delivery I come out here there's nothing for me because I think the pressure of doing food delivery every day is what's stressing me so if I go out and I feel like I didn't have a good day that might not necessarily be the case it's the fact that it's like a Monday and nobody's ordering food because everybody's at work and it's like one in the afternoon so I think I need to have a better schedule for myself because when you come out too early you do a lot of waiting and now that's your time and I don't like that so between deliveries, I tend to park in front of restaurants, recline my seat back, open the window if it's not too hot, and I just chill and relax. Tell me why I decided to get up and go because I only have one delivery and too much time had went by. And I bring my seat back up and there's like a cop in the opposite parking lot from me. And it's not that he's watching the road in front of us to like maybe catch somebody speeding because it would be more work to go to the road and try to catch that person real quick. So I was like, are you parked directly across me because I'm a car parked with my window open and I'm chilling in it? So that was annoying. And it's like, you could sit there and be like, well, he probably wasn't there for you. But it was just one of those scenes where it's like, well, who else are you here for? Because I'm like the only one in this parking lot. I deliver food, I'm in front of a restaurant. I'm not bothering nobody. I'm not loitering. I'm not just outside shaking my ass naked on the corner. Like I'm just, I'm here in my car recline chilling so anyways i decided to go grocery shopping i just turned my food delivery apps back on and it is picking up so i think i'm just gonna drop off this food back home and then maybe go out for a little bit and then hit the gym but i'm definitely gonna get myself on a schedule because i realize i'm putting pressure on myself to go out every single day so when am i relaxing and focused on camming and get consistent with camming and trying to make my money with that and building up the virtual presence so that i could really make my money off the sex and sensual industry because there's no reason i should not be making cash when my pussy's on the internet <laughs> then i feel like i I would feel a little bit better so i'm gonna go home and think about that as well because the thing is when you have a bi-weekly or weekly check that's exactly what you do you ration your shit out until the next time you get paid so why am i trying to force myself to make so much money every day and then feeling bad when i don't when in reality i should set a monetary goal for myself which i said i was going to do from the beginning and go from there and have it on specific days so other days i know i can sit home and chill and get a lot more work done virtually but yeah that's about that i definitely spent a lot more money than i made today i only made like 10 bucks i ended up spending like almost 50 at the hair store and 50 on groceries however this is for my well-being so i can walk around feeling a little bit better by myself i got something to cut my split ends before i put them in braids okay okay and i got myself some food because i can't eat out every day and i have to remember that one of my biggest goals was to shift over from doing food delivery as much as i do to now doing sex and sensual work and my virtual work and camming and all that stuff too so if i'm always out doing food delivery when am i actually making my money to cam and stuff so you know but you know what blew me earlier and I realized people just don't own a reverse situation so they actually hear what they sound like. I had a talk with my roommate last night and it was going good until it wasn't. And you know what? I'm not going to take it to heart because it's just, it, it is what it is. But it's so crazy to me how judgmental people are of the sex and sensual industry. We were talking about the fact that, you know, women can make money off of themselves, their face, their body, because there are a lot of men out there, usually cis men, who will pay for it. And it's expensive being a woman. The reason I walk around like this is because half the time I'm not going to invest in getting ready and the people around me don't always deserve it it is hella expensive to fulfill the image of being a woman that society has created hair nails all that stuff so if we ain't going nowhere if you're not somebody special if we're not doing something if this is not a trip if this is not an event i usually just don't get ready i know you should get ready for yourself but right now i'm on my hustle so i'll be walking around like what's good and like i said i'm gonna put the braids in so maybe that gives the illusion that i have my shit together and it's a lot more low maintenance because for me i need practicality but what blew me is the fact that my roommate was like women know that they can exploit men off the industry because they like what they like and that men who support the industry are kind of losers i was just like because it's like i don't get the problem it's the men who don't want to spend money in this industry maybe the same ones wanting stuff 
Can I cuddle? No. We not gonna talk about that. But anyway, and I'm not saying all relationships have to be transactional, but I don't understand why some guys are so judgmental of how other guys wanna spend their money. If there's a man or woman or just person out there who sees the effort and investment and time and energy and resources I had to put into just doing what I do, and they want to appreciate that financially because they know it's not cheap and it takes a lot of time and effort as well, that's none of your concern. It's not your money that's getting spent. You don't have to watch. If you want to go watch free porn or free cam girls or whatever it is, go, go. But the ones who want to charge or the ones who want to like privatize themselves or make sh exclusive and be like, hey, this costs this much, this is that, let them, let them. The men who support them are not losers. And I, that's another thing too. Like I will never think of the clients and people who support me as, oh my gosh, these simps. Oh my gosh, these losers. This is embarrassing because you are supporting me. I feel like you don't get to look down on the same people that are supporting you that don't make no sense whether it's in this industry or outside of the industry like people who get famous and all of a sudden they want to act a certain way towards their fans like they're the reason you got where you are the reason your bills are paid the reason you're famous and now all of a sudden you want to turn on people like i will never think that way i am cautious navigating this industry and who i interact with and just trying to keep myself safe but i will never take the people for granted like oh my god i can't believe somebody watched my cam and paid me money Ugh, like so I was like, once I heard that, I was just so turned off because I was just like, listen, you don't have to support, but you can't sit here and tell your roommate who you know is in this industry that the people who help support her financially so she could survive, eat and live and thrive, etc., are losers because they're doing it in the first place. And then have the nerve to talk about some cuddles and movie days. Mm -mm, no, no. You are allowed to think however you want, but that's just like, that's like me being like, oh, people who support the work you do are losers though. It'd be like, well, actually I'm doing very important business. Okay, well, so am I. Let people get off and enjoy themselves. Let people have pleasure in their lives. <sighs> Stop judging them for it. It's not your money, it's their money. And they want to spend it on me and other sex and sensual workers. Let them, let them. Maybe the same people talking about they lonely want to talk about some oh i can't believe people support people in the industry providing pleasure and company and entertainment like bruh what bye oh sun hitting you know what's crazy oh my the tea is hot and sweet today i'm not gonna tell this man's business nor will you ever see him on my channel or nor will i ever expose him or his name or anything like that but he actually dabbles in this industry i'm going to keep him completely anonymous but it's like so do you just think the men who support women in this industry are losers because you have people buying your shit too so are they losers for supporting the women or are they losers for supporting the whole industry and if that's the case, then you're also exploiting them, as you say, because you also dabble in the content. <sighs> I'm gonna be quiet. I'm not over that. Like, apparently if you park in front of a Five Guys for more than 15 minutes, you're technically homeless now. And there's reason to intervene. <sighs> Just leave people alone. Go fight crime, please. Go fight some actual crime. Anyways. Because we're not about to make two trips. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's that serious. LMAO, you can hear my roommate PC gaming in the background on the keyboard. But anyways, that's it. I'm at an age where I'm so grateful for groceries. Even a couple bags, y'all. I'm so grateful. Today, overall, was good. It was a good day. Y'all, today I also got braiding hair. I got a pair of lashes. It's just one for right now. Oh, I got these super cute earrings. Look at them. Are they not adorable? I'm gonna try to find more unique stuff. These are just, you know, hair store supplies. They'll probably break within a week. But they're still super cute for pictures. All right. For those of you who didn't know, you don't always have to do explicit stuff for camming. So some people will just log on to chat. And I realized I was about to sit here. I was about to go to the gym. I realized I'm tired. I haven't eaten. So I was gonna sit here and just do my work. And I was like, I could literally just hop on chat looking cute and cut my split ends. And people will still tip you. We love it, we love it, just for chatting and actually getting to know your personality and stuff. So we gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna go at least throw on some lashes. 
Of y'all, it's a beautiful day. We're doing food delivery. Anyways, I left the gym. Something weird had happened. So like for some reason, like three cops ran out of the gym, like yelling code something, code something. And they were chasing after a man who was apparently wearing one shoe. I don't know what that was about. So yeah, I, I don't know what happened, but that was the end of that. Like they were just shouting and then everybody just kept working out like, well anyways, and I was like, okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna do food delivery. I'll talk to y'all in a bit. I'm feeling really good. Really, really good actually. I'm sitting here eating popcorn, watching these cheap ass orders. <laughs> Even now, I got lucky. Oh, sun hit him. Even now I got lucky with an $8 order that was only one mile away, but I thought that was part of the customer tip and I was like profusely apologizing because I forgot utensils. Oh, uh, would you like to know that there was no type of tip on that? I'm over here like, I'm so sorry. It was on a to-go rack and no one was at the register and I saw your message late. No tip. I'm not saying that they didn't deserve utensils. I'm saying I wouldn't have cared as much. Anyways, 